We're here today with David Rowe, Professor of Law at the University of Miami School of Law in Coral Gables, Florida. Good afternoon, Professor Rowe. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Professor Rowe, could you please comment on the recent developments in Egypt? Well, the Mubarak regime in Egypt has come under severe pressure and may even capitulate mostly because of corruption and lack of democratic principles. It appears that the average Egyptian does not feel that he has a say in how the country runs. And this has had a very bad impact on the popularity of the regime, which is supported by the Egyptian military. Professor, a number of commentators have said that the protests in Egypt came as a direct consequence of similar protests uh, to overthrow the government of Tunisia. Do you think that these events in Egypt could have a similar impact e even in a place as far away as Jamaica? Well, there is some distance between the Middle East and the Caribbean. And even although there are sociological and demographic similarities between the Caribbean and the Middle East, namely that both in the Caribbean and the Middle East you have a small group of very wealthy people who own most of the land and who own most of the capital. The religious differences are great and in the Caribbean the Westminster parliamentary democracies have more legitimacy than the regimes in the Middle East which essentially derive their authority from military force. One large issue uh, that has been reportedly driving the protesters is corruption. Um, has the corruption in Jamaica risen to that level where something like this might occur? Unfortunately, corruption is very bad in Jamaica and corruption is similarly very bad in Egypt. The corruption complained about in Egypt has led to widespread protest. The corruption in Jamaica is beginning to disturb the social stability of the country and more and more Jamaicans who are outside of Jamaica look at the method in which the Jamaican government operates and looks at the relationships that have developed between the government of Jamaica and criminal gangs such as the Shower Posse and look in grave concern at these close relationships between crime and the government and reject these corrupt relationships and reject these corrupt alliances. Lastly, what kind of message did these protests and overthrows of governments send to governments like in Kingston? Well, the Golden Regime certainly must have been looking at the, re the regime changes in North Africa in similarly colonial uh, settings and post-colonial settings as the West Indies and say, well, if it could happen to them, it could happen to us. Certainly, corruption and lack of democratic uh, say-so lack of a democratic ability for the poor more the poor the more disenfranchised groups uh, is a similar feature that the Middle East and the Caribbean democracies have and this similarity can only be destabilizing for the Golden Regime we need more democracy and we need more, we need less corruption in Jamaica so that we do not have instability in the future. Professor Rowe, thank you very much for your time.